Now, he took an oath to serve the public, but now an Orange County deputy is accused of stealing from those he vowed to serve. Investigators say the video you're looking at right here shows him burglarizing the home of a man who recently died. NBC4's Hetty Chang has more on what the sheriff is calling intolerable actions by one of his own. The Orange County Sheriff's Department is releasing this video it says to be transparent about the actions of one of its own. The department says this is Deputy Steve Hortz on duty, scoping out the Yorba Linda home of a deceased man. Then later returning in plain clothes at least two other times. A backyard security camera shows who the department identifies as Hortz, carting out a weapon safe, boxes, and one night ceiling fans. I cannot tell you how disappointed I am in the actions of uh, Mr. Hortz. Orange County Sheriff Don Barnes calling the actions of the 12-year veteran of the force inexcusable. And I will tell you this, I will do everything uh, we can to make sure he does not return to a uniform in this organization or anywhere else for that matter. Sheriff Barnes says Hortz first responded to the home on Via Angelina back in July regarding the death of the homeowner, a man in his 70s. He says Hortz returned to the home seven days later and may have propped the door open so he could return. I see the back door is open. This neighbor says he helped the girlfriend of the deceased man when she noticed the home was burglarized. I thought the police always uh, the person we trust. And that's my comment. Sheriff Barnes says the department learned of the security video yesterday when the homeowner's family attorney contacted them. I also want to apologize to the family of uh, the deceased. It's not an, it's enough to have lost a loved one and then to be victimized by somebody presumably with the responsibility of protecting them. The Sheriff's Department tells us that Hortz was arrested early this morning and that he's on paid administrative leave. The Sheriff says the department will be looking into each one of the deputy's previous patrol calls to see if anyone else was victimized. In your Belinda tonight, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.